Hi everyone, so I'm back on YouTube after doing my LE Come On Over course a couple of weeks ago. Um, I've been playing about trying to make a good baby boomer with the products and I posted one of these nails that I did on one of the LE groups and it got a really, really good response and I had a few people message me to ask me if I could do a video, so that's what I'm doing. So that's all the products that I'll be using in the video. Um, along with the lamp, of course. So first I'm just, I've already applied my tip, prepped my nail, I've took my LA cleanser and I'm just scrubbing off all the dust and here I'm just going in my tack all over the surface of the nail. So my arm did keep hitting off the, my phone holder at this point so I'm really sorry if it's a bit shaky. and then just pop that in for 30 seconds. Once that's cured, I'm going in with natural fibre as my base layer just for some strength and so I've got something to file back to if I want to change the design. So I'm using the number 4 oval brush and just applying a slip layer first of all. And then just going in with a bit more just to build up build up a slight, very slight apex, nothing nothing too too high. You want to have plenty of room for your pink and white so you don't file it all away. So since doing my come on over course I've absolutely fallen in love with these products. Just so easy to work with, the best gel I've ever worked with. And the main reason I wanted to switch was because the products are hyperallergenic, just for obviously for my clients' health and for my own health. So I've managed to switch a lot of my clients over already and they're getting on so well with them. They're absolutely loving the products, loving the colours and the glitters. So here I'm just going in with perfect white and just making sure that tip has a really full coverage layer of that white. So here I'm just wiping off my brush, just making sure there's still a, a bit of product left on there and just blending it back, not all the way to the cuticle, but just fading it out as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect because you will be going over the blend to the pink anyway, but trying to get it as as well blended as possible at this point. So I think the reason why I went in with this technique was because I had been using acrylic for so long. This would be how I would do it with acrylic. So I'd put down my thin layer of clear, go down my white, blend it back, pink, blend it forward and then cap to build your apex. And it's just exactly what I've done here with the gel and it's worked so well. If not, I'd actually say I prefer the result with the gel. So I'm just taking quite a big bead of the pink builder here, placing that at the cuticle. This is where you want your bead to be thickest because it's where you want the most coverage. So don't worry about the shape of your apex or the structure of your nail at this point because we will be creating that later with Soft Pink Extreme. This is purely just to get the coverage that you want on the areas that you want. So I'm just wiggling that builder side to side pulling it up the nail, keeping the bulk of the product at that cuticle area but just fading it up to get that blend nice and seamless. So just, you know what it's like trying to do your own nails, I got a tiny bit of product on my skin so I was just making sure I got that off before I popped it in. So this is just me faffing, there's really no need to do this because you're going to be filing it and the white is going to come back through it anyway. So I'm just showing you the side view just to show you so the nail, it will look, it will look strange from the side view at this point but don't worry about that just now, we'll fix it in just a second. So that's been in for a minute. 
I'm not going to give myself pink extreme. So this is just going to cover, cover up any imperfections as well as helping us build, build our structure. This little pink really nice because it gives you enough coverage, but at the same time still letting the pink builder and the white show through. So I realised after I started doing this that I should have went in with a slip layer first, it would have just made it a bit easier for myself. But you can still work with it if you don't. So place that product right in the centre of the nail where you would want your apex and then I'm just working it around, letting itself level until I'm happy with it. If you can hear a wee bell jingling in the background, that's because my cat has decided to join me. <laughs> so just playing around with that until I was happy, pop it in the lamp, come back in with Ellie cleanser, and then I'm just going to file it into shape. So my filing routine is always the same, go free edge, side wall, side wall, round the cuticle area and then just kind of skipping over that apex area just to make sure the bulk of the product is where you want it to be. So I just love working with gel because it just files so easily, you don't have to put in half as much pressure as you do with acrylic, it just honestly makes your life so much easier. So I did file away a tiny bit too much white, so I just went back in, tiny bit of white right at that um, free edge, popped it in the lamp just to get that coverage back and now I'm just buffing it before I'm going in with super shiny. So this is the nail freshly filed. I'm just going to super shiny just to bring it to life. I actually would say that I was happier with the blend on this third nail that I did than I was on the first two. So just taking some cleanser again and then that's us. So thank you so much to everyone who commented on my post. It's honestly amazing to get feedback like that when you've just started using products. So thank you so much and I really hope that this video has helped some of you.